we need to be aware that protein foods are a package. No food is strictly 100% protein, and this is something we need to understand before we even start to worry about amino acid profile or the absorbability of a given protein. To illustrate, I'm going to pick three different types of meats. We'll talk about plant sources in a bit. A 100 gram serving of sirloin steak is about 244 calories with 27 grams of protein, compared to the same size serving of chicken steak which only has 165 calories and 31 grams of protein. The last one is Atlantic Cod. A 100 gram serving is 82 calories with 18 grams of protein. This one is interesting because if you double the serving size it matches chicken breast almost perfectly in total calories and protein content. All three of these foods have a protein digestibility score of 1 and are good sources of protein. But they're not the same. The most significant difference is the fat content, with cod having virtually no fat. Chicken breast is low in fat, having just 3.6 grams and only 1 gram of saturated fat. Sirloin steak is the highest fat content, with the most calories. Almost half the fats are saturated fats. So when we're looking to balance our diet, swapping out a steak for a serving of chicken or two servings of cod will increase our daily protein total and lower overall calories consumed. Now there's nothing wrong with eating steak and we need some saturated fats in our diet, but as a whole, we tend to overconsume them. If vitamin B is a concern, both chicken and sirloin steak contain 30% of our daily requirements in a 100 gram serving. Red meats and processed meats often get lumped together, but these should be viewed as separate categories. The chemicals used in the curing process of meats are linked to serious health issues like cancer and heart disease. On top of this, during processing, some of the essential amino acids can react with other food components, reducing their bioavailability. Berliner sausage is made out of pork and beef. Both meats have a perfect score of 1 for protein digestibility. Once it's made into sausage, that rating drops to 0.65, making it a low quality protein. Suddenly, that sirloin steak is looking pretty good. Let's look at a couple of incomplete protein sources and see how they measure up. Kidney beans are an excellent non-meat source of protein with 24 grams in a 100 gram serving. It's a little higher calorie than sirloin steak, but it's almost the same amount of protein, just 3 grams less. What kidney beans have an abundance of that the over 50 man needs is fiber with 25 grams per 100 gram serving. Men over 50 should be getting 30 grams of fiber every day, and this is something we can't get from meat proteins. Kidney beans are an incomplete protein with a protein digestibility score of 0.89, better than the Berliner sausage. We can improve this rating overall by eating from a wide variety of non-meat protein foods. We see this when we use a protein quality calculator. The site 2000KCal has one that shows the value of various food combinations. Now you don't need to eat these foods at the same time. They just need to be part of your diet for you to benefit from them. Brown rice is a perfect match for red kidney beans. Rice is deficient in lysine and has lots of methionine. Kidney beans are just the opposite. Brown rice has a protein digestibility rating of 0.63, but when you have them both in your diet, the combined rating goes up to 0.98, almost a perfect score. You get more than fiber and protein from non-meat sources. You also get vitamins and minerals that are needed for optimal health, including some that you can't get from meats. For example, kidney beans are high in magnesium. So if you're like me, an omnivore, then you can use with confidence both meat and plant sources of protein to reach your daily requirements. But what if you're struggling to get enough protein every day? Is a protein supplement the answer? Watch this video next to find out the good, the bad and the ugly about protein powders and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.